Hello students, Miss Lockhart here. We are going to color with monochromatic color schemes. So you'll need two colors. It can be a primary color or a secondary color or an intermediate color. An intermediate color is two colors mixed together. You'll see here where it says combo. I've created intermediate colors by layering colors on top of each other. Okay. So I'm gonna show you how to create these really fun color value gradients. Essentially, it just means you press down harder to make a darker value, and then you press a little lighter to make a medium value, and even lighter pressure for the lightest value of that color. Practice doing that with the color pencil you're using. You can also use crayons or oil pastels for this. If you only have markers, that's okay. You can think about just using warm color families together, like red, orange, and yellow for your dark, medium, and light color. You could use warm and cool colors like blue, green, purple, turquoise. So that's okay if you just have markers. You can just stick to warm and cool color families instead. Now take a look here. I am going to combine two colors using colored pencils. I put my blue down first. I'm gonna make turquoise or blue-green. And now the green on top. And you'll see the blue-green appear. So you can always mix your colors, even if you're not using paint. If you're using color pencils, it's really fun to layer colors to create those intermediate, or in other words, tertiary colors. There are two words for those colors, the ones that are combined, intermediate, and tertiary. Okay, now look there, I did a blue-violet on the top by putting the violet down and the blue on top. Awesome, practice your color value with your two colors before you get started. Now, monochromatic means one color. Mono, one, chrome is another word for color chromatic, so one color in the artwork. What we're gonna do is we're gonna use two monochromatic color schemes so that our mountains are really pretty and colorful. Now take a look here. I'm going to do another color combo where I do my red violet at the top. And then I did pink below. So these are gonna be my colors that I'm choosing for my, for my drawing. Now look, I'm gonna do a combo of that nice light pink with the, the red violet or fuchsia on top. So my sky is gonna be red violet. My mountains are going to be blue violet. And then I'm gonna use all the shades and tints that I can with those colors. Okay, so here, take a look at my drawing. Now, let me remind you, our goal is to have two colors with th at least three different values. So like, I used red violet and I wanna have a darker um, shade of red violet and a lighter shade of red violet. Do you see it in my sky? My red violet, also known as magenta or fuchsia. And then right above it, I have the darker version, which just means I put purple right on top of it so that it looked darker. So it's that same color with purple on top. And then I had a pink, so I was like, perfect. Instead of using the medium pressure with that red violet color pencil, I just put pink. You could have also done like a medium pressure like we practiced. And then I used a light pink or a lighter pressure below it. So I actually have one, two, three, four different values of my red violet in the sky. Do you see? You can also do a version of that with just one color pencil where you press down harder in one section, press a little less in the next to create the medium value, and then of course, press a lot lighter for the lighter value. If you happen to have the colors in your color pencil set, or your crown set, or your oil pastel set, that's great too. You can just use the colors instead of changing your pressure. Now you can see how I'm doing it in the mountains. <clears throat> I have chosen blue-violet. Now what's really cool about choosing an intermediate color, like blue-violet, is there are two colors in there, blue and violet. 
So in that monochromatic color scheme, I can use blue like I'm doing now, just blue, or I could use just violet, or I could layer them and use the blue violet, the color I've chosen. So it's great, you have lots of options if you choose an intermediate color, because that intermediate color has two colors mixed in. So anyways, you can see here, I'm doing blue on my mountain that is closest, well, it's the small mountain close to the horizon line, it's blue. The middle one is a combination of that blue and the violet. <clears throat> and I'm pressing a little lighter in that middle one, do you see? So I'm gonna put my blue down first, using kind of a medium pressure, and then I'm gonna put my violet on top to create kind of a middle value of the blue-violet. So the middle value of blue-violet is right there on the middle layer of mountains. And then you can see above it is gonna be my darkest value. Can you see how it's darker up there? Yeah, so the darkest value is the blue-violet color pencil that I have, which is awesome. If you don't have the exact colored pencil, like if it doesn't say blue violet on your colored pencil and you're like, this doesn't look like blue violet. Remember, you can combine colors. So you could put blue down and then you could put purple on top. Now I am doing my darkest value of the blue violet color I've chosen. So I have that actual colored pencil, which is great. And I'm pressing down nice and hard so that the value is dark. You can see there, now I have three different color value shades of my blue, and turns out I have four of the red violet in the sky. This is our goal. You wanna use your two colors and you wanna spread them out and have three different values, light, medium, dark. And you can do that with changing your pressure like we've talked about to create the different values with just one color pencil. Or if you wanna mix it up, you can combine two color pencils and create an intermediate color. Okay. I hope you're having fun and I cannot wait to see what colors you've chosen. It's gonna look so cool when you're done. Follow along and I'll show you how I did the front of the landscape, also known as the foreground of the landscape. I'll finish these mountains in the background and then I will show you how to color the foreground in just a moment. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned. Okay, so for the front of the drawing, or the foreground, I have chosen a new color that is not within my other two colors monochromatic color scheme. I have chosen green. I wanted to mix it up a bit. So I've already completed my um, the requirement to do two sets of monochromatic colors. Now I'm adding an extra color. You do not have to. If you don't want to, you can continue to use the two colors you've chosen before and just change their values. So you could make it darker or lighter when you're finishing the front so that you have 
just those colors in your drawing. If you want, you can add a, another color. So I've chosen green. And I'm going to fill in the hills and rocks in the front here with green. And then I'm going to make sure I do the water. It looks like there's more water where that straight line is in the middle, the horizon line. So I'm going to go ahead and fill that in. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and finish coloring with my new color in the front, which you may do as well, the new color in the front, if you're tired of your monochromatic colors you've already used. And go ahead and have fun with that. I'm going to tie the blue that I used in my mountains. I'm going to tie that back in to the front and add it to some of those rocks to make it match so that it kind of matches the background. And then I want you to have fun coloring the rest of your foreground. And don't forget about that sun or moon in the sky. Okay, everybody. Thanks for watching. I hope you had fun. I hope you learned about monochromatic colors and color value. Can't wait to see what you've made. Thanks for watching. Bye, everyone.